welcome to my presentation. This is lecture 006, Analysis of Plane or Two-Dimensional Trusses. Now, let, let us define truss. A truss is a structure composed of slender members joined together at their endpoints. The members are commonly used in construction consists of wooden struts, metal bars, angle bars, structural pipes, or channels. Assumptions for analysis. Number one, the members are joined together by smooth pins. Then number two, all loadings are applied at the joints. Classification of coplanar trusses. We have simple truss is constructed by starting with a basic triangular element. Compound truss is formed by connecting two or more simple trusses together. Complex truss is one that cannot be classified as being either simple or compound. So we have common common types of roof trusses. So we have scissors, how, prath, cumbered fink, warren, the so thought, fun, bowstring, fink. And then three hinge arc. So sa bridge trusses naman, we have Pratt, How, Warren with vertical members, Parker, Baltimore subdivided Warren, then K truss. For determinacy. So, B plus R is equal to 2J. So, this is statically determinate. If B plus R greater than 2J, so this is statically indeterminate. Where B is equal to the number of bars of the truss, then yung R, total number of external support reactions. Then, ang J, the number of joints for stability if b plus r less than 2j a truss will be unstable or it will collapse so, so example tayo Determine the force in each member of the truss shown and state if the members are in tension or compression. Now let us check for determinacy. So for, for B, so number of bars, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 bars. Then ang joint, so 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5. So we have 5 joints. Yung R, so since may tatlo tayong reactions, so we have 3. So B plus R is equal to 10. Then yung 2J is equal to 2, 5, 2, 2 times 5 is equal to 10 also. So, B plus R is equal to 2J. So, therefore, this is statically determinate structure. So, solution. So, we have if BD. So, sa point D, since nakapin type, so, we have DY, then DX. Sa point E, so, naka-roller type. So, we have EY. So, summation of moment at point D. 
is equal to 0. Considering counterclockwise positive, so magkukuha natin yung value ng ay. So ay times 20 minus 60 times 4 over 5 yung component along y times the moment arm 30 minus 60 times the component along x so 3 over 5 times 60 minus 30 times the moment arm so 30 is equal to 0 so ang ey is equal to 225 kips so upward Summation of forces along y is equal to 0 considering upward is positive. So dy plus 225 minus 60 times the component along y. So 4 over 5 is equal to 0. So dy is equal to 177 kips. So downward. So palitan natin yung assumption natin. Okay. Now, for dx, so summation of forces along x is equal to 0. So, dx plus 30 plus 60 times the component along x. So, 3 over 5 is equal to 0. So, dx is equal to 66 kips. So, to the left, so palitan natin yung assumption natin. Okay. So, at joint A, so we have if BD, isolate natin yung point A. So, may dalawa tayong unknown, A, B, and then ang AC. So, summation of forces along X is equal to 0. So, negative AB times the component along X. So, 5 over square root of 61 minus AC times the component along x so 1 over square root of 5 plus 60 times 3 over 5 is equal to 0 so this is equation number 1 summation of forces along y is equal to 0 so negative ab times the component along y so 6 over square root of 61 minus ac times this the component, so 2 over square root of 5 minus 60 times the component, so 4 over 5 is equal to 0. So, equation 2. So, using calculator, so, ng, value ng AB is equal to 234.31 kips. So, tension. So, value ng AC is equal to 254.91 kips so compression so palitan natin okay so at joint C so we have FBD so summation of forces along Y is equal to 0 so ano natin so BC at saka yung CE so, negative CE times the component along Y. So, 6 over square root of 37 minus 254.91 times the component 2 over square root of 5 is equal to 0. So, CE is equal to 231.14 kips. So, compression. So, palitan natin. Okay. Summation of forces along X is equal to 0. So, negative BC minus 231.14 times the component along X. So, 1 over square root of 37 minus 254.91 times the component along X. So, 1 over square root of 5 is equal to 0. So, BC is equal to 152 kips okay compression so palitan natin okay so at joint E so we have FBD so yung 
ano natin, BE at saka yung DE. So, summation of forces along Y is equal to 0. So, BE times the component along Y. So, 2 over square root of 5 minus 231.14 times the component. So, 6 over square root of 37 plus 225 is equal to 0. So, BE is equal to 3.35 kips. So, tension. Summation of forces along X is equal to 0. So, negative BE plus 231.14 times the component along X. So, 1 over square root of 37 minus 3.35 times the component 1 over square root of of 5 is equal to 0. So, DE is equal to 36.5 kips. So, tension. So, at joint D, so we have if BD, summation of forces along Y is equal to 0. So, yung ano natin, BD. So, BD times the component along y, so 6 over square root of 37 minus 177 is equal to 0. So, ang BD is equal to 179.44 kips. So, tension. Okay. So, for our references,